My name's Russ Cook and I'm attempting to become the first person ever to run the entire length of Africa. This is where I started, this is where I'm heading and this is where I am now. I've run 15,264 kilometres so far and I've got 1,178 left to go. So far on the mission, I've survived alone in the desert, a robbery at gunpoint, near death in the jungle, a brutal crash, horror infested waters, malnutrition, sickness and injuries and raised £267,000 for charity. In this episode, the sandstorms get worse, I shortcut across the desert, reach 1,000k to go and Mother Nature takes her revenge. Why do you always look so emotional when you wake up? Do you feel emotional? It just makes me sad that I have to get up. It's f***ing s***. Can't I just... <laughs> can't I just stay there? And I dreamt I saw my dog again. And then I woke up without my dog. No! I will give you a hug when you get out of the car. <laughs> He's still alive, is he? Or The dog I dreamt about is still alive, yeah. Good, good. Excited to see your dog again. So excited. She's the best. It's like, it's slightly tense at all times because if the laptop gets too full of sand, then it will just break, right? You know, it's not weather sealed or anything like that. Mac might fare more of a chance, but this is if it gets too much sand in it. But we have in, so. How's it going? Yeah, good, you? Yeah, all right. Have a baby wipe shower again? Yeah. How many days till we're gonna listen to soft play? 16. I actually found out some good news as well. We've been doing the calculations on the days wrong, so I don't actually have to average 75k, I only have to average 70. But I'm gonna carry on doing 75 just in case. Today was another brutal sandstorm, the worst yet in Algeria. The whole landscape was shrouded in a thick layer of razor sharp sand which blew south across the rocks and the hills, taking a detour via my eyes. It's hard to describe just how difficult this is, but you can imagine doing a marathon while eight loud strong men try to hold you back with cheese graters while throwing sawdust in your mouth, you get somewhere close. I battled on through this all day, barely able to talk at the first stop and pushing on towards 40k. By the time I reached it, the sun had already set. That's not bad. Jamie, do you have anything to say? How was your evening? Been good, surprisingly fair. Yeah? Yeah, editing's going strong. I might actually finish before we get to the final stop, so that's exciting. Nice. Yeah. What would you do on a night off for us? Like, if you didn't have to run tonight, what would you do? Just sit on my phone. Sounds good to me. Yeah. It's probably what I'll do. Get an early night. That'd be great. Love that. <laughs> F this sounds <laughs> Shame it's not happening. <laughs> but now, I'm honestly, I'm just happy with the sand. Stop f***ing life up for the, the really terrible, terrible scenes. F***ing breathed in so much sand in the last 24 hours. So what I normally do is like, try to remember that it's like other people miserably walking, like some editors and Russ Cook. Yeah. And then we just enjoy that time. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say, "Oh yeah," and then I kind of like try and help them or like ask if they need anything. No, just sleep. Oh, you just enjoy it, yeah. Sleep. Think about them. I actually can't describe how much I fucking hate sandstorms. They actually fuck me off on any other weather ever. I'll tell you one good thing that has happened. Soft Play sent me their new unreleased album. Just want to vibe into that all day. Vibe into that, and it's actually the perfect shit to vibe to when you're pissed off because they're like they make pissed off music. What is what's happening? What are you two? <laughs> about? I was just laughing at Gus because the microphone's not. <laughs> I didn't even see you. We should solve the problem. Are you trying to like inhale the sound or? <laughs> That's not that mic. I left my idiot crew behind and hit the road for the night shift. It was already nearly 10 p.m., so I settled for 30k and pushed on. But there was another obstacle to tackle before the night was over. Why is that flashing? I don't know, I did that. What are you, what are you doing? I was turning the brightness up so you could see us. Oh, f <laughs> <laughs> so what's happening? The battery on the light has died. Ingenious. 
happening well uh, the shortest route is over this gravel track but we're not sure how good it will be so to avoid risks she's gonna drive around gonna take the 4x4 drive over the dirt track and then in like 25k so we'll already be tarmac and then we will see the boys tomorrow it's right see every use Gus just wants another break from us Andy wants a, a night with Ross. Why not? Can, can we not actually like forget the spare meshes? <laughs> <laughs> Blankets. Just burn it. Or just burn it. Burning your like your desire for each other. Yes. All right then. So Gus and I plunged down this dodgy, dirty track into the desert while Stan and Jamie took the long way around. All energy sapped from an insanely brutal day, I pushed through my final 10K late into the morning. I've been here trying to set up camp, but the locals have kicked me out of bed. To eat some dates with like a liter of warm milk and some coffee. So uh, that was really kind of them. Pretty full now. Hopefully I'm uh, still able to sleep after this uh, really strong coffee. <laughs> Shukran. Yo. Yo. Can I not make it through then, eh? No, it would have been a struggle. So luckily we uh, decided to split up. It's a long one. How late is it? No, I don't even know, man. I think it's like 2.30 or something. I was just getting worried. Like, the gendarmerie just woke me up. Came here, like, with four cars. I'm like, oh, really? f***. Where is it still not here? Maybe I should set an alarm in an hour or something. But then you showed up. Yeah, always get it done eventually. These guys were well confused when I started coming down this track. Yeah, yeah, I was already thinking, like, maybe they forbid you or something. They tried to. I was like, look, boys. It's not negotiable. I've got to go down here. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to bed, mate. See you in the morning. A late night meant I slept through the morning and didn't begin running until the afternoon. This was a genuine problem. The time it took me to get 8 hours sleep and run 75k was basically longer than 24 hours, so my days were slowly falling further and further into the night, but there was nothing to be done. Minimum 70k days were non-negotiable, so I pushed on as hard as I could up the winding, ankle-twisting dirt path. Pretty easy run. It was alright. What is it now, 15 days? Yeah, nice. Did you enjoy the, the change with the, the gravel? Not really. No? Prefer tarmac. That little shortcut saved us probably 20, 30k, right? more. So, worth it. You know, like, everyone breaks fast with dates. That dates are really popular in Muslim countries. Do you know why that is? A lot of Muslim countries are uh, relatively dry, and dates have really deep roots, making them very resilient for drought and good for places like this. So it's more of a geographical thing than it is, like, anything to actually do with the religion. Yeah, I think it's mostly just functionality. I pushed on along the uneven gravel, up and down constant tiny hills until I finally reached tarmac once more. But as the sun set, I was barely even half done with the distance. Easy days didn't exist anymore, it was just hard or brutal. Uh. Yo. Yeah. Well, the thing almost goes under, so that means the day's over, right? You don't include the night shift, but unfortunately, can't <laughs> include it. So. What's the game plan for this night shift? I'm not really sure yet. Just one kilometre at a time. Break it down, keep it simple. Nothing silly at this late stage of the game. Thinking of um, getting the old ones and twos. Ferociously? Yeah, we'll try and get some ferocious ones out. Hey, I've only got to do this 15 more times. Not that bad, is it? It's nothing. It's nothing. I will, I, will, I will think about how easy your life is when I'm a bet. <laughs> In bed in one hour. <laughs> oh right, mate, last night, yeah, I can't lie, it was like I was lying in bed like dozing. You know when you're like dozing, kind of nearly asleep, but you're like not quite asleep yet. Mm -hmm. Bro, it was like the best thing ever. I can't remember the last time I was that like just content and like comfy and like warm in my sleeping bag, just sat lying in. I was like, I don't want to smell in there between. And then I woke up and had to run around fing 70k. Bollocks in it. So sorry. Cannot wait to get fing horizontal in that bed later. Yeah. Yes. Right, yeah, that's enough for me to change. Shit. See you in a bit. The thought of getting cozy in my bed for a glorious eight hours was all the motivation I needed to push on into the night for another 30k. Tick day 336 off the list and finally rejoin the boys on the main road again. How's it going? Yeah, alright. Another day done. I was the shortcut. 
well, it wasn't smooth, but it saved outrageous amounts of comments. So yeah, just, one, like just a long couple of days. The f***ing sandstorm situation yesterday it slowed me down loads. Then I got to bed really late last night, like 2.30, it's 3 o'clock or something. Me. Started late today. Yeah. So I'm going to get my head down immediately, and then hopefully I can kind of get back on track tomorrow. Sounds good. I'll do that. Americans and the Russians. <laughs> Have you been racist again? I was just reminding Gus how hard the Dutch bowled it in World War II. <laughs> what was his comeback? He didn't even have one. He was like, they bowled it. Too busy cycling. Then he mm. said something about the real people coming to save them, like some Yanks or something, but I don't yeah. know nothing about that. But how I remember history is that the Brits did it all and then um, we saved the world. 75 again today? Yeah. A couple of rest days for 70s, a couple mm. of 70s. Yeah. Obviously, a lot of people in the comments will be calling you pathetic little weasel, yeah. but I actually want to just defend you and, and say, like, you've had a couple of weasel days, but everyone has had a break. He's not he's not an animal, he's a human being, so, so he's right. doing all right. It had been clear weather all morning, but genuinely, the moment I stepped out of the van, the worst sandstorm in weeks popped out of nowhere to royally f me. Still, I was feeling absolutely ferocious today, eating up sand for breakfast. But about two minutes after posting this video, they try to get me gone, but they just can't. I'm too damn ferocious. This happened. Just ate loads of sand, spewed everywhere. Ugh. I was feeling super ferocious there. Just got to really quick time. <laughs> yeah, say that again. Jesus. Quick time, my boy. Um, yeah, yeah have we got any cloth? Anything that I can put around my mouth so that I can get a little bit of oxygen when I breathe instead of just sand? Have we got a t-shirt? What's this? Have you been breathing that? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> would it give this away to you? I can give your f***ing chunny stained mouth. Um, you're like... Do you want a t-shirt? Oh I've got one that I don't use, so I can just give you that. Yeah, go on then. Rick, more sweet you did that make me feel better. Yeah. That was a joke. <laughs> Kinda work, right? Kinda. Oh, Good luck, mate. Freshly kitted out, I stumbled back out into the storm, utterly humble. The next 15k were a brutal struggle, but the tickle of ferocity I had left pushed me onwards. How's the sound? Yes, yes. It's the, it's the breathing, breathing it in and just getting it everywhere, which is quite important. I'm not a f***ing running expert, but I'd say breathing is pretty integral to being able to run well. It's quite important. Oh, James is awake. And then the wind is just like someone pushing you all day long. Yeah. Just being like, oh, you want to run? F*** off. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll have a look at the weather forecast for the next few days and you'll be glad to know it's much worse tomorrow. So, oh, good for back. That was quick. Yeah, yeah, the, the genre, uh, sure, it all happens quick. Yeah. You really like the genre of me, don't you? Yeah. How have you said it? Well, how do you say it? Genre on me? That's it. That's it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think they're pretty, yeah, they're always nice, facilitating. Sometimes I like the big chefs like making big problems, so they like waking me up at like 4 a.m. to ask for a passport. Like in general, yeah. I actually looked it up, they've got over 350,000 people in the army. Big country though. What's the population of Algeria? I don't know, I guess. I'm gonna go 120 mil. I reckon 80. I was thinking more about uh, 40,000? 40, 40, yeah, no, 40,000. Uh, 40, yeah. I know, first answer's only. Jamie? 40. Four. Well done. Congratulations. Oh, wow. Ooh. This is a throwback. My dad cuts metal, and when I used to go to his workshop as a kid, he would give me these goggles, and I'd think they're gangster. Look at that, he's gangster. Look how much you'll be able to see. I reckon these are actually pretty fashionable. Might wear these to festivals this summer. What's going on, Jamie? It's fing raining. I don't know why. Where did it come from? God. It's raining. It's raining? Yeah. What? I know. I remember last time I saw rain. The rain was over as quick as it started. It was a sure sign we were getting close to the edge of the desert. Alhamdulillah. The sandstorm had mostly disappeared, leaving me with wind and surprisingly cold to push through another 20k. Oh, life's a lot easier with them goggles. 
Gus, talk me through some of your highlights from the mission. My highlights from the mission. I would say the Mauritanian Desert was a really highlight for me. Just ripping off-road, don't even follow dirt tracks, but just go wherever we want to go. Pretty sick. Algerian hospitality is great as well. Really nice, just time spent again. In West Africa as well, just talking French to the people, enjoying the village lives. Actually, the highlight, swimming in all those beautiful tropical rivers that's like definitely up there. It's been a while, but like, it's not much more beautiful than seeing all these tropical trees, the fog over the water, and then just go for a nice swim. <sighs> Sweet, see you in a bit. Force of the finish line flashed through my mind as I plunged my ones and twos into the night to finish the day. It was insane to think of everything we'd been through to reach this point, and the idea of it being so close to the end was hard to fathom. As I tucked into bed, day 337 came to a close. Today was a beautiful clear day without much wind. I was visited by some pups and this mad desert tortoise. It was going to be a good hang on, what the f I'm noticing that the sandstorms only come out when you do. A bit rude to be honest. If you could just not run then you'd save the whole area from a lot of inconvenience. A lot of places to be there are not. People to see, places to be, all that. Ah, oh, f Nearly there. Less than a thousand K now. Right, see you in a bit. The, uh... I hit the road into another fucking sandstorm. At this point, I was done with the dusty bastards. This was getting old. I challenged Mother Nature to throw a real struggle at me as I cut through the grit like a knife through sandy bar. Yo. Think you're setting a new record? I fought for. An outrageous number of police escorts uh, cars no. here. How many are there? I don't even know, man. I feel like I've seen like six or seven different. I think only here around our resting point are like five or six cars parked. Must be a slow day. Yeah, they were, yeah. I mean, it's trying to look after us, isn't it? Yeah. The sandstorm was relentless as I pushed on through countless small villages and towns. The route had become steadily more and more populated as we slowly pushed up out of the Sahara into the Atlas Mountains. But the shards of glass flying at me at 40 kilometers an hour were a firm reminder that we weren't out yet. We're here, it's romantic, TL light. You took down the f***ing fairy light, mate, just saying. True, yeah. Bismillah. Bismillah. Nice Ramadan dinner. Thank you very much. How was it? It was face with some spice and tomato. How's the, the piece? It's good. It's like a um, mousse curry. Mm. It's going to be the first time having meat. Mm. Well, we had the Chinese meat. <laughs> True. I should not have challenged Mother Nature as she hit me with a colossal thunderstorm out of absolutely nowhere. Wow! <laughs> Holy sh! No, that man. I ran on, drenched, high winds battering me as I stomped along the motorway and somehow, defying the laws of science, there was still sand in the air. Thoughts on the weather, Jamie? It's weird. Doesn't feel like it should be like this, Dad. No. It's weirding me out, it really is. It's, yeah, made me feel like quite disconcerted. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, sun, 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 thunderstorm. Yeah. In the desert. In what the, the desert, man. What's that about then, Algeria? Yeah, Algeria. F***ing Algeria. <laughs> Thoughts on the weather, Gus? Yeah, nice. When you get outside, you get the wet, and somehow you still get like dust blown into your eyes. Yeah, that's why I don't understand. So you have like best of both worlds. <laughs> yeah. That's the maddest thing, is like, how is the sand still in the air if it's there's so much water in the air? Surely you just think water droplets hit the sand, they're like, you know, it's all stuck to the ground. Stop hitting you with my lo with your logic. That's not how we work over here in Project Africa. <laughs> so, I mean, I can't argue with that. I like your new hairstyle, by the way. Thank you. Just turn to the side for me. Wow, it's like a really captivating headband. I like it. Thank you, thank you.
Hey, mate. Yeah. Uh, 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 that couldn't have been fun. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, How wet are you? Oh, no, I'm not even that bad. Really? Yeah, no, I'm right. Just a bit dizzy. Really? Yeah. Do you need anything? Sleep, yeah, uh, yeah, definitely felt for you today, man. Yeah, a bit of a rough run, but it's, uh, it's not long left. Yeah, <clears throat> water or anything? All right, mate. Oh, good. Sleep well, then. See you in the morning. Mate. See you in the morning. <laughs>